Hello, Anna Napoli for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Hazer Group is CEO and Managing Director Jeff Ward. Jeff, welcome back. Uh, good afternoon, Anna, and uh, nice to join you again. Hazer Group is leading the move to a low emissions energy future through its technology. What's the company's focus? Uh, our focus is the commercialization of the Hazer process, a low emission process for producing hydrogen and graphite. Um, we take a methane molecule from biogas or natural gas and using an iron ore catalyst, we convert it into hydrogen for transport fuel and a graphite byproduct that can be used in batteries, lubricants or other advanced materials applications. Thanks, Jeff. And the last year, I understand, has been very busy for Hazer. Would you provide an update on the key achievements, starting with your FY20 results? The last financial year has been a, a real milestone for the company as we've moved out of the pilot plant and into a, our first commercial demonstration project. So through uh, Financial 2020, we um, entered into a collaboration with the Water Corporation to build the first uh, fully scaled, uh, fully integrated Hazer process on the Woodman Point wastewater treatment plant south of Perth. And so through 2020, we did the initial design work. Um, we agreed to buy biogas and, and access the Woodman plant site to build the project. Uh, we secured funding from ARENA, the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, um, and we undertook design and, and project costing. And that all came together right at the end of FY20 with us uh, taking a final investment decision on the project and moving into the construction and um, procurement stages uh, as we speak at the start of this year. Thanks, Jeff. And what's ahead for Hazer going forward past the financial year? Well, for the focus for this year very much is on the design, uh, fabrication, construction and commissioning of the commercial demonstration plant. And that'll be a 100 tonne per annum hydrogen production facility using waste gas produced um, through the water treatment facilities. Um, that will be the, the project's main focus. Um, but in parallel to that, we're working with potential commercial customers in Europe, in Asia um, and in Australia, which can take advantage of this first demonstration site to move into commercial projects. So speaking of those commercial opportunities and partnerships, what opportunities do you see for hydrogen in Australia? Well, hydrogen's got many uses, as you know, I'm sure most of the viewers know. Um, we're particularly interested in the use of hydrogen as a replacement for diesel and heavy transport. And that was something that was really strongly supported by the National Hydrogen Strategy developed by Professor Finkel. And we're starting to see some really interesting projects um, to deploy hydrogen vehicles in Australia, in buses, in waste fleets, um, and potentially in road, uh, in road transport. Um, so we uh, have entered into a feasibility study, for instance, uh, along with a study group comprising Macquarie and Hyzon Motors, a vehicle manufacturer, to look at establishing a refuelling hub in Mandurah, south of Perth, that could take renewable hydrogen and replace diesel and heavy transport. And Jeff, turning to funding, how's the company played? Uh, the company's uh, in the very fortunate position of being well funded for this next phase of our operations. Um, we've been well supported by our shareholders um, and by the capital markets. Uh, we undertook a capital raising in uh, June of this year uh, that was um, significantly oversubscribed and we raised uh, more money than we initially targeted. Together with a senior secured loan facility from an Australian financier and our ARENA grant funding, uh, we have enough funding to build the commercial demonstration plant and operate it uh, for the first year and to continue our research and development and our international business development activities for the next two years. So Jeff, with all this funding in place, what's the outlook for this financial year? Well, the key milestone for us is to obviously successfully uh, fabricate commission and then operate the commercial demonstration project because that'll be the first fully um, integrated, continuously operated version um, of the Hazer process. And that will really demonstrate that we're ready to scale up to commercial projects. Um, in parallel, now that we have the design data from the CDP, and now that we've uh, advanced our understanding of the technology into how you deploy it in a range of industrial um, and commercial settings, we're seeing more and more interest from uh, potential commercial partners, uh, as I said, Australia and internationally. And so we'll work with them to try and mature those um, concepts to feasibility study stage. And then the third big platform is continuing to work with our um, various partners at the Innovative Manufacturing Cooperative Research Centre, where we host our R&D platform, where we're working on the Hazer Graphite and all the multitude of uses for our graphite um, in future markets.
Jeff Ward, thanks for the update and congratulations on the progress. Thank you, Anna.